King David left us a inheritance, Psalm 51, so that we can invoke the divine mercy with all confidence and thus regain our inner peace. It is only through the humiliation of the soul in his misery that God listens to us and allows us to experience the peace of his forgiveness. Son of David, when the prophet Nathan came to him after David had committed adultery with Bathsheba, have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. In the Old Testament, the prophets always helped kings with their spiritual direction. After David sinned with Bathsheba, and at the same time caused the death of her husband Uriah in order to stay with her, the prophet Nathan visited David and threw a God-inspired accusation in the form of a parable, touched the heart of David, who repented of his sin. David opened his heart with these words, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great love, according to your great goodness, blot out my transgressions. Miserere me Deus, have mercy on me, O Lord. I am miserable because of my sin. My God, I have offended you. But because of your goodness, I implore you to blot out my sins so that I may feel peace in my heart. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Dirtiness makes me uncomfortable, worse than when I go a day without bathing. That is why sin makes me feel dirty, my soul is stained. Take away my wickedness, Lord, and cleanse me to feel good. Cleanse my soul as you only can do it, Lord, and I will feel very good. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. In my darkness, I committed sin, but your light has shown me my wickedness. Sin does not leave me alone. Sin has its ally, Satan, who constantly accuses me and assures me of condemnation. I have sinned against you. Against you alone I have sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. My sin affects and destroys the souls of those who have sinned with me or those whom I have harmed with my sin. But I commit the greatest offense against you, Lord, for I do not love you when I disobey your commandments. You have made evil the way of death for us. I have chosen it of my own free will. How irresponsible I have been and how defiant I have behaved before your power. Therefore, all that you decide to do with me in order to punish me is based on your justice, and I will have to remain mute before your condemnation, for I am not worthy of any appeal. I plead guilty to my crimes. I am totally subject to your mercy. Luke chapter 15 verse 21 Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. After the sin of our first parents, we are all born in the last of our parents. It is only through baptism that we are accepted as children of God. That is why my guilt is a mark that accompanies me and that I make bigger every time with my sins. We are all creatures destined to offend you, Lord, and that is why you allow us a moment of repentance to look back and realize our misery. Only you, Lord, can help us now. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Lord, I wish I could lift up my face in your presence. This is why I ask you to illumine my conscience and give me the spirit of truth. Darkness 
and falsehood are the darts that I continually receive from the devil. But in my innermost being, you speak to me with your Holy Spirit, desiring that I accept your wisdom. Cleanse me with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Just as Moses, after reading all the precepts according to the law to all the people, took the blood of the bullocks and goats, then with water, scarlet wool, and hyssop, sprinkled the book itself and all the people. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 19. So I desire to be cleansed in the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, my Lord Jesus, who died on the cross for my sins. Thus my soul will shine with the light of the resurrection, and I will be able to enter into eternal life. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Mary Magdalene heard you say, John chapter 8, verse 11, I do not condemn you either. I forgive your sins. Go away and sin no more. How I would like to feel your forgiveness. You also said to the paralytic in Mark chapter 2, verse 5, Son, your sins are forgiven. I also want to hear the same words, so that you may also heal my body, mind, and soul. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Lord, if you look at my sin, I will be like a criminal at the time of his execution. I feel like a naked man thrown to hungry lions. Take away the justice of your sight, Lord, and cleanse my soul with your precious blood, taking me away from all iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Lord God, Eternal Father, you promised in Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 26, that you would give us a new heart, and that is what you have done by giving us the heart of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. Let the sacred heart of Jesus now establish his kingdom in my heart, so that it is no longer my heart that beats, but the heart of Jesus. You also said later in Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 27, that you would infuse your spirit into us. May your promise be fulfilled, Lord. I desire that my heart be your heart, that my spirit be your spirit. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Lord, give me the grace and joy to live in your presence. Make me desire only to be with you so that I may live only for you. I am temple of your Holy Spirit. Do not let the idols of the world and the flesh fill your temple. Consecrate me to your Holy Spirit and remain in me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. There is no greater joy for my soul than to know that you have saved me. Your forgiveness fills me with your peace. Give me the grace to remain obedient to your divine will. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, so that sinners will turn back to you. My heart has been filled with your holy word. I am like a book that needs to be promoted, read, and explained. I will lead to give testimony of your works in my heart, and thus sinners will repent and be saved. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, you who are God my Savior, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. My Lord, since I am with you, let me remain in your hands. Fill me with your spirit and do not let me fall again. Anoint my tongue so that I may always speak with your word and proclaim the mercy of your gracious justice. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. Lord, give me the tongue of a disciple and the heart of an apostle. Speak through my lips. Let me be a living sacrifice of prayer, praise, thanksgiving, worship, intercession, 
reparation, deliverance, and healing. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. How can I repay you for the offense I have committed against you? It is not so much what we do for you, Lord, but what you do for us. Psalm 116 verses 12 to 14 How can I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. That cup of salvation offered to God is the precious blood of the Holy Eucharist. My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart you, God, will not despise. No human being has enough to offer you, for you have everything, Lord. But the tears of repentance are precious pearls that we can offer you. May it please you to prosper Zion, to build up the walls of Jerusalem. Lord, grant us forgiveness so that your church may rise again as the only one that has the Savior of the world. Strengthen his walls and fill it with your presence. Then you will delight in the sacrifices of the righteous, in burnt offerings offered whole. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. The only sacrifice pleasing to you, Holy Father, for the forgiveness of sins is the perpetual sacrifice of your Son in the Holy Mass, the offering of your priests and your faithful, which has been interrupted because of our iniquity and as a warning to our conversion. Give us much devotion to this offering of the Church, so that your wrath may turn away from us and we may live again in the peace and prosperity of your Kingdom. I would also like to recommend to you this prayer of rejection of evil, which works in the manner of exorcism against the devil and keeps us out of sin. Prayer of Rejection of Evil My Lord, my God, in the holy names of Jesus and Mary, I ask you to protect me and strengthen me to reject all things that separate me from you. I reject and defeat Satan. In the holy names of Jesus and Mary, I reject and overcome evil and darkness. In the holy names of Jesus and Mary, I reject and overcome pride, lust, envy, anger, lies, deceit, hatred, laziness, and gluttony in the holy names of Jesus and Mary. I reject and overcome the world, the devil, and the flesh in the holy names of Jesus and Mary. I reject and overcome the attractions of the world, wealth, material possessions, power, and distractions in the holy names of Jesus and Mary. I reject and overcome the attractions of the devil, disobedience, rebellion, and idolatry in the holy names of Jesus and Mary. I reject and overcome the attractions of the flesh, sensuality, lust, and immoderate pleasures in the holy names of Jesus and Mary. I reject and overcome the attractions of entertainment, dissipation, and worldly consolations in the holy names of Jesus and Mary. I reject and overcome anything that distances me from the presence of God in the holy names of Jesus and Mary. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share this message, and leave your comments. God bless you.